Have you ever wanted to just empty out an entire Costco and then just fill it to the brim with collectibles. We are currently at Frank and Son Collectible Show. This is a 65,000 square foot stacked to the brim collectible show. It runs Saturday, Sundays, and Wednesdays. And tonight is Wednesday night, and I thought, why not go to Frank and Son and vlog it? You guys are gonna love it. Let's go in and check it out. <laughs> As you guys can tell, this is just a gigantic Costco of just collectibles. I mean, we're gonna start from the right and kind of work our way through the aisles. Look at these! Oh, I think this might be my new favorite booth. Oh my god. We're going inside. It's amazing. We're playing Return of the Jedi. Oh, these are so cool. I want this 3PO head. I might have to come back and get it. <laughs> When it comes to Star Wars, you name it, they probably have it. You want a Star Wars give a show projector? Easy. They have a bunch of Kenner figures down here. More stuff. They have a Han Solo holster with this DL44 in it. It looks completely metal for $1,500. They have Count Dooku's stunt lightsaber from Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> $750. So much. They've got helmets, a Star Killer helmet, or Count Dooku, another 3PO. This one's a screen used prop. Amazing. They have so much Kenner. They have so many Kenner toys in here, and it's all just so cool. I can't afford it because that booth is very expensive, but it's still very cool. Here we have one of my favorite booths. It's the Sideshow booth. They have everything. I can't afford any of that, but still pretty cool. When it comes to Frank and Sons, they truly do have everything you might possibly need. It's insane. Oh, this is cool. Oh my God. This next booth has tons of black series. Let's look inside. Oh, they have a dark trooper. Nice. Oh no! Dude! I'm about to cry. This is my favorite booth in the entirety of Frank and Son. They have the most ridiculous Star Wars statues you'll ever see. Like, I've never seen a Darth Nihilus statue, but here they have Darth Nihilus. I mean, they have Ahsoka, they have Ayla, they have Cad Bane which is super cool and they have Asajj Ventress and of course in the back they have a star killer I'm not sure if you guys can see it but I have been wanting the star killer for so long they haven't sold it it's like 900 bucks but it's totally worth it they have Grogu there um bunch of crazy stuff they have a Clone Wars mall sideshow statue that I want so bad let me know in the comments if you want me to come back and do a more in-depth Look at this booth. It is currently like 8.30 at night <laughs> on a Wednesday, so 
most of the booths are closed. We have a good amount of stuff to see on like a, a Wednesday evening, so I highly recommend coming here. There's like nobody here right now, so I feel like coming at night is probably the best time to come, or even early in the morning would be good too. Star Wars comics, Star Wars comics. I haven't really bought anything yet just because I'm trying to be good about my spending when it comes to collectibles. I have to like physically hold myself back. I have to leave my debit card in the car so that I don't buy stuff like a holographic Obi-Wan Kenobi or a Captain Rex or like Jabba the Hutt. Like I would buy all these things if I could. Oh my God, they had so many exclusive Star Wars Funko Pops. Are you kidding me? Let's see, I want to know the most expensive one. There's a Mark Hamill Funko Pop. I didn't even know that existed. We have Thrawn for $500. I want to know the most expensive Star Wars one. Honestly, it might be, I think it might be the exclusive production Mandalorian from D23 Expo in 2019. Jeez, these are all insanely expensive, but I want every single one of them. Tell me not to. Ooh. Beta. Oh my god, yes. Yes, please, yes. My master. Oh my god. They have so many. This mall in the back is all I need. Oh my god, guys, they have Patrick Bateman. Heisenberg. Mr. White. Mr. White, please. Oh, they have some Star Trek ones. <gasps> Picard. Look at Picard. He's beautiful. And Tiny Spock. Picard and Tiny Spock. There's a really cool area over here that's probably only really cool to me because, like, Everyone probably thinks I'm a nerd for it. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. They have the cups. I think these are like Burger King exclusive cups, but I want all of them so bad. Like I want all of these for my kitchen. They're like $35 each. But once I'm rich, I'm buying all of the Star Wars cups. To my friends that are watching, you probably will drink out of a Star Trek three cup. More sideshow, more sideshow. Oh my god. Dude, I need this. Doc Ock is my favorite. I need Doc Ock. In real life, actually. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> they even have Darth Maul rings. Imagine. Imagine I started wearing this. Love this booth. This is what it looks like. You have to come here. And we have reached the end. Here we have an entire shot of the whole place. I highly recommend you guys come here. Frank and Sons is just a place you can spend an entire day at. If you collect Star Wars stuff, if you even collect the most random stuff, if you collect sports, random things, they will have it here at Frank and Sons Collectible Show. I love this place, but we're gonna go get some snacks right now because I am tired from walking this entire floor. <laughs> like I said before, this place is 65,000 square feet of just collectibles. Oh wait, there's one more place. There's one more place, there's one more place. I forgot about this booth here. <laughs> nah, ghost face mask. If you want a pin of William Shatner, you have it here. Beta. Pretty cool. Oh my god, they have the Millennium Falcon Kenner set. The Imperial Shuttle. That is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I'm not talking about the Jigsaw, I'm talking about the Yoda. Never mind, I just realized they're cash only.
I don't currently have cash on me. But anyways, if you do want to get snacks here, it's all cash. So I think we're just gonna go to In-N-Out, which is what we usually do. Um. This lighting is really creepy and for that I do greatly apologize and there are people looking at me. Thank you guys so much for coming with me to Frank and Son. This was literally so much fun. Again, I do apologize for the creepy lighting setup. This looks like I am filming a segment of the Blair Witch Project. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This was so much fun. Let me know if I should do a part two where I go and buy things. All I did buy was a sense of self uh, control because I didn't buy anything this time. It is a good idea. It's a good thing for me to leave my debit card in the car sometimes because places like this can make me want to spend all my money. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have gone to Frank and Sons, if you live in the California area. It's such a cool place and I recommend you guys come. I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching my video and subscribe for more content like this. And may the force be with you.